happy here, Mark? Good morning. All right. You're doing all right today? Doing pretty good. Doing good. Ready for another day. Amen. Amen. Charles, uh, <clears throat> Pastor Thomas' nephew, Ray Charles, his wife passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to lift up uh, Dr. M.A. Thomas in prayer and uh, Dr. Rodney Thomas in prayer as well. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Chief Allen Ivory, uh, Cheryl Spillman, Marlon Lee, mm -hmm. uh, Chloe Cook family. Uh, Dr. Michelle Dover, her mother is dealing with dementia. Tasha Hardy, Robert Hardy, Albert James Hardy. Again, the Lawson family. Mm -hmm. uh, the Clark Lee family, mm -hmm. on that time of bereavement. Um, Samantha Eason, Johnny Bradford, Sister Lynn Taylor, Pam Banks, Reverend Rufus Wheat, Reverend Ryan and family, the Craven family, Sister Cindy Landry um, and her family. Uh, Brother James Jones Jr. and Brother James Jones Sr. Brother Madlock, Brother Henry, Johnny Goldsmith, Pastor Springs, Overseer Springs in Tennessee, Jerry Eskridge Sr., Jerry Eskridge Jr., uh, Candace Garbonado and family, Dr. A.M. Landry and family, mm -hmm. Precious Carter uh, and family, Albert Hanks and family, Kevion and Kevon Casey, mm -hmm. Brother Kelvin Casey, uh, Lorraine, Louise Duffy, Asia Calvin, uh, Carolyn Peace, Michelle Lowe, Bobby Simon, uh, Shane Coleman, Sean Graham, the Davis family, Raymond and Judy Wells, Sister May Hardy, Sister Cynthia Armstead, Sister Leslie Eason, uh, all those schools and school teachers and everybody in the administration that's dealing with COVID out there, mm -hmm. children, the Norton family, and the Groverton Nursing Home. I want to pray continually for those individuals uh, that's there and the seniors that are being impacted by COVID. Brandon Massey, the little man's young hospital? Yes, he is. You keep praying there uh, that God make a way. Amen. Uh, Catherine Eason, uh, Ms. Fulcher, Sister Divine and Sister Powell's uh, mother, uh, Sister Ruth Jones and family, Sister D. Shelton, Jerry and James uh, Watkins, Sister Princess Watkins, Sister uh, Marie Eason, Deacon Wilford Simon and family, yes, Brother C.K. Simon, <coughs> Billy Lee, Sister Janice Lee, Billy Lee Jr., Sister Jackie Lee, uh, Janaya, Sky, and Jalen. Um, Terry Ewing, I want to continue to pray for my niece, Kim Gallagher. Amen. Pastor Elsie Spikes and Handcomer, Deacon Jack Simmons and Devers. Continue to pray for Sister Beverly, Deacon M. Holly, Amen. Harold Ray Glenn in Raywood, Texas, Eugene Glenn in Raywood, Texas, Jeray Felder, uh, Sandra Martin, Lee Casano, Terry Lee Lumpkin, Elijah Rivera, 
uh, Linda Thomas, uh, Jared Eason, Erica Charles. Also, we're going to look at uh, Reverend and Sister, Dr. and Sister uh, Ralton Stevens, uh, Viola Hardy, Doris White, uh, Albert C. Tick, uh, Albert playing his children, Dan Orange, Nola Wanza, Carolyn Carter, Vivian Rooks, uh, Regina Cannon. Anybody else a name like that to our prayer list today? The Green Family in Tampa Green. The Green Family? Green. Okay. And uh, can you think of the little lady that used to come to church? They funeralized her from uh, yesterday from Mount Bethel. Gracie. Um, yeah, Gracie. Sister. sister Gracie. Yes. I used yes. to work with her at USD. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. Okay. Ruffin. I think yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because her and her husband would always come. Yes. No matter yes. what happened, yes. they yes. would always represent yes. for us. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 Angie and Henry Harper. Nancy and Henry Harper. Angie. Angie. And Henry Harper. Okay. I'm access to the sister of Henry Cameron. Okay. Dealing with that funeral and the burning. Cousin Regina Kelly, as she's been going through chemo for a while as well. Okay. And then for my aunt Jackie Kendall. Okay. Reverend Andrew, I want to pray for those young children that had been abandoned by their parent. And one of the brothers did for a whole year. I want to pray for those children as they try to place them in homes and get them the help that they need mentally um, to deal with the situation. I can pray for them in that whole situation. And also, I ask God to continue to pray for my granddaughter today. Uh, she's not sick. Uh, she's in early college career school. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But we know uh, that if you in early college career school, you're in the ninth grade, we just ask God to continue to bless her. Amen. With the wisdom and knowledge Amen. and Amen. comprehension that she needs yes. to um, stay on task. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Um, at, this point, Amen. at this point, just to stay on task, uh, she's in early college career, in four, some school is 14. Or for being, so we want to, I just ask y'all to give her a Amen. 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 Definitely want to do that. Yeah, it's a blessing to be able to know that she can stay on this course. She'll graduate with an associate degree before she graduates with a high school diploma. Amen. That's, that's those opportunities that's out there. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Welcome, uh, Sister Cynthia, um, to Oak Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Brothers and sisters, today the sermon's going to come out of Matthew, the 17th chapter. Matthew, the 17th chapter. We're now ready for the hymn of preparation. I will trust in
to treat it. Yes. Everybody right. No. chapter, verse 21. An interesting thing right here, Sister Lee says, from that time forth, Jesus began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem. And Brother Cecil, and suffer many things of the elders, and chief priests, and scribes, Mm -hmm. to be killed. And Brother Casey, and be killed. Mm -hmm. But here's the good news, Sister Marie, and be raised again mm -hmm. the third day. Mm -hmm. Now they weren't accepting that, Deacon Billy Lee, see? Did they understand that? No, no. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. No, that didn't make no sense. Yeah. But we find here, verse 22, Peter had something to say about that. You know, Peter is always going to be a Peter in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, mm -hmm. saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Mm -hmm. But I see some red writing right here, so it's the same thing, verse 23. Mm -hmm. But he turned and said unto Peter, What do you say? Get thee behind me, who can say it? Thou art what? A offense. Unto me. But thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of me. 
And he said to his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm -hmm. or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mm -hmm. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father, mm -hmm. and with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Mm -hmm. And he said, Verily, Verily. it transmits to truly. I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste death till they shall see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. We find right now Jesus was preparing. He was letting them know that God is taking us away. He said, y'all don't understand what I'm talking about right now, but you'll understand it better by and by. This morning you don't understand it right now, but you're going to understand it better. Because oh, yeah. 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 what we're doing now, we're looking at God's will. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're looking at God's master plan for redemption story. Come on. Not only that, we're looking at what God has put in place is above our finite understanding. Uh -huh. And because of the story, it sets a premise to let us know where we're going here because God got a plan and the only way God's plan got to work is got to go through this way. Come on, come on, come on. Boy, so for me, it don't make no sense to us. Because if it was your child, you wouldn't want your child to go through this. Come on now, I need you to get this now. And I want you to see how awesome this is because when you see it, it's an yes. old story. Yes. But it's got a different meaning. Yes. God has taken us Whoa. away. Amen. Well, let's see the 17th chapter. Read me verse 1 if you don't mind. And after, after six days, days Jesus, Jesus taking Peter, Peter James, James, and John, his brother, and bringing them up into a high mountain apart. We find now, after six days, so he gave a week to meditate on that. Yeah. See, sometimes God will give us something and it just blows our mind. Amen. It, it, it shakes us up. Amen. And sometimes it gives us a time and our limited understanding because he knows how we process information. Yeah. And it takes a little while for them to dissect this. Mm -hmm. So they was walking around the disciples, hey, look, they just found Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. They just found the Messiah. They've been walking with him three and a half years, Sister Marie, and say, now, in that mind's eyes, when he take over his kingdom, everything's going to be all right. Yes. And we're going to be right there with him, and everything's going to be good. But Jesus, you just got through saying that I'm getting ready to die. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready to go to Jerusalem yes. to yes. die. Uh -huh. Now, they said, here, look at that. That don't sound well. I didn't buy this. Yeah. This little band right here, I thought we was going to be conquerors. Yeah. But it didn't look like it. We find out it was after six days that Jesus taking Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringing them up into a, what kind of mountain? High, High mountain. mountain. Yeah. So he took them to a place mm -hmm. and separates us. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, God want to have a relationship with you. One on one. Come on. Man. He want to have a one on one relationship yeah, with you. Right. And now that we all want to get to eternity and spend time with the Lord. But we can spend that time with him right now on the mountain of prayer. You can talk to him one-on-one -on -one right now. See, no matter what you're going through, I know you're going through something today. I know you got something that's going on, it's a storm in your life, and you need to talk to somebody. But Jesus said, come unto me. Oh, he did a heavy late. And I'll give you some rest. See, I need you to understand. Jesus said, uh, I, I, I come to help you out. Uh -huh. I come to make a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what he did, there's a separation and there's a blessing to be one on one with Jesus. Yeah. 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 So, what happened, we find is in a circle right here, Sister Lee, mm -hmm. he picked Peter, uh -huh. James, and John. Now, Peter just got through saying, Lord, it ain't going down the way you yeah. say it. Yeah. 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 You're talking about dying, it ain't going to happen that way. Yeah. And he said, wait a minute, now hold up, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Satan and use you as a mouthpiece. Yes. But it cannot hinder the work that God's master no, plan is on. already in place. Yes. Brothers and sisters, you need to understand. God yes. has taken us away. Yes, he is. One by one. Yes. 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 And the way around this. Uh, this ain't our home. We're on our way home. Yes. And Jesus has given us an yes. 
example to let his disciples know back in antiquity, I need to prepare you for my departure. Come on. Yeah. I need to prepare you to let you know I ain't going to be here forever. Come on. Yeah. 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 I'm preparing you right now. I know I ain't going to be here forever. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you as much as I can while I can, Whoa. what thus? Said the Lord. Said the Lord. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what happened on verse 2. And was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was light as the light. Whoa, did you get that? I'm glad y'all sobered in the judge right now. Because back in the day when I used to get drunk, I wanted to read the Bible. When I seen that, that show blew my mind. Here we find right here, and was transfigured. Let me have you understand. I had to look this up. Because it's a 50 cent word. Transfigured or transfiguration is a large change in appearance mm. or form. Yeah. Come on. A metamorphosis or a convert. Yeah. Yeah. We need to understand it's almost like looking at a, 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 a ugly worm going into a cocoon. Mm. And then come out a beautiful butterfly. Mm. So we see right now, all of a sudden Jesus then took him up on this high mountain. And I'm glad you're here today, and I'm glad you're wide awake, because according to the scripture, mm -hmm. he said, Jesus took him up and was transfigured mm -hmm. before them. Yep. Now, there's a difference between transfigure and transformation. While transformation is the act of transforming, uh -huh. or the state of being transformed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. So we sometimes we look at these words and get a, these two nouns together, we bump our heads on it. Mm -hmm. So we need to slow down a little bit because we see something that's amazing. Mm -hmm. He was transfigured before them. Mm -hmm. And his face mm -hmm. did what? Shine. Yeah. As what? As the sun. As phone now. Mm -hmm. When you woke up this morning. Yeah. 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 When you looked up and looked to the east. And you saw that sun rising. Come on, man. Come on, man. And he got the rise of the God. Horizon. Can you look directly in the sun? No. No. Wait a minute now. We need you to get this. We, 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 we need to see something right now. I told you last week that Jesus is the light of the world. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Now we find something right here that's unique, Brother Billy Lee Jr. That he's on top of this mountain with his hand chosen disciples and his face mm -hmm. did shine yes. as the sun. Yeah. Now my question to you is, what would be the first thing on your mind? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Let me show you something here. It, it, it get your knees now. But here's what I got to bring you back to. I got to hold on right there. I'm going to bring you back to what that eagle eyed prophet said back in Isaiah 52, starting at verse 14. As many were astonished at thee, his vision was so marred more than any man, and his form more than in the sons of men. So we're looking at Isaiah, is looking at this Savior has the ability to transform. He has the ability to look when they get through beating him down the road on that Friday night. He's going to look like hamburger meat. He's going to look marred. He's going to be beat more than anybody else. So I want you to see this now. I want you to see how Isaiah looked through the steeple bench of time. And he said that now that, and so shall he sprinkle many nations, and kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them, Shall they see? In other words, the three disciples are sat back and looking at Jesus doing something that ain't natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody seen nothing like this before. Ain't nobody heard nothing like this before. Lord. That which they had not heard shall they consider. So it's blowing their mind. Amen. Mm. Isaiah, he says, I see him. But when he didn't see the transformation, he saw him on Calvary. But we back up right here, and I got to take it of Isaiah 53 and 1. And the reason why I got to take it there, because everybody don't know this is in the Bible. The question is, who had believed 
our report. Oh, yeah. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Brothers and sisters, I need to see. God's will is a revelation. If God do not pull back nature, you can't get it. If you're not a believer, you can't see it. So we find right here. Now I've got what he says. Here's a story right here. I need to and I'm tying it in for you. So we find he was transfigured and his face shined like the sun. Oh, yeah. But Deacon Wilford Simon, he said, verse 2, in Isaiah 52, 53 and 2, he says, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, mm -hmm. and as a root out of a dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. So the bottom line here is he's walking around and everybody just looking at him. It's kind of like, okay, isn't that Jesus? No Bible, nothing like that special about him. But God's master plan, yes, God's will. I want you to get this now. He said in verse 3, guess what? He is despised and rejected of men. He is a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. He's taking us away. And brothers and sisters, when grief hits us, we need somebody that can relate to what we're going through. Come on. We need somebody to feel what we feel. Come on. Come on. Everybody else going to tell you what they think. But we need somebody in the ditch with us. We need somebody in that place that can feel our pain, feel our grief, feel our loss, feel our hurt that we can't put in words. Because that's what death does to us. How you doing, Sister Powell? Yeah. Death puts us in a place that we can't find no help. But I find God's will. He said he's despised and a man of sorrow. He understand your pain, Sister Lee. He understand your hurt. He understand that loneliness. He's in a place where you're at. Because God's taking us away. And we need somebody to walk with us. He said he's acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our face from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Oh, Brothers and sisters, the bottom line is, before God changed us, we didn't care nothing about Jesus. That's right. Oh, That's Lord. right. Yeah. Didn't appreciate nobody talking about him. Didn't know, it. Come on, Rip. Didn't know nothing about him. Yeah. Yeah. We find right now God's master plan and God's will uh -huh. is for him to come in the time and Isaiah looked 700, 1,000 years before he got here yes. and what he had to go through. Yes. Tell me, look at the great prophet Isaiah. Yes, sir. And he said, now, surely, mm -hmm. verse 4, that he has borne our griefs. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand, Jesus came yes. to carry the load. Jesus came to help you in your weakest moments. Come on, Bridget. We find now that he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Wait a minute now. Thank you for coming. Come on. Matthew 11, chapter verse 28, 29, verse say, Come unto me. All ye that are what? Heavy laden. I'll give you some rest. Brothers and sisters, some of us are trying to carry the load all by ourselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God trying to help you right now carry your load because he didn't call your brother home. Oh, yeah. okay. We find right now, Sister Cynthia, we know that you got a loved one that's going with He can help you in this time of need. Yeah. 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 Charles, I can't know your wife can pass on, but God is able to help you through these trying times. I know you were married 53 years and she's gone, but God can be a helper. He can be a keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Hanks, I need you to understand. God can help you. I know your wife for 41 years is gone, but he can help you. Because he came for this purpose. Come on, what Jesus told Pilate. This is how he came. There's a master plan in place. We don't understand it. But we find right now, he come to bear our griefs and carry our sorrows. Guess what? Yet, we did extreme him stricken. And here's the key. And it don't make sense, Brother Casey. He was smitten of God. Mm. God decided to do it. Yeah. It's yeah. God's master plan. It's God's will. It's God going to make a difference. It's God going to make a way. But so I don't care how you feel about it, how you don't think it's bad. All, it ain't about you. No way. It's all about God. Take care of his business. I'm talking to somebody here today. God has taken us away. And then he says, not only that, he was smitten of God, and guess what? He and afflicted. Yes. Here's verse 5. 
was wounded. Yes, he was. I was wounded. I wounded. Wait a minute now. I need you to understand. He's taking us away. But on our way home, we need to understand this is not a transition place. The question is where your soul is going to spend eternity. Smoking or non smoking. But while you got blood running warm in your veins, yeah. You got a chance to decide to go to the non-smoking area Amen. because God gave you way out. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 53 and 5 say, but he was, I want you to understand. Isaiah said, it's not a might be consignment, but he was. Yeah. He already seen that he was going to be flicked. Yeah. And now that, but he was going to be wounded. Wounded. Thank you, Lord God. Brother yep. Cecil, for our transgressions. Yeah. Everybody in here got some messed up in us. Yeah. Yes, you do. Everybody, because the Bible says all have sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ain't, nobody ain't nobody but Jesus. Yeah. Can take us from death to life. Yeah. It's such a difficult path. Only Christ can transition us. Brother, yeah. I need to say God is yeah. taking us away. Yeah. And now that, but he had to do it through Jesus. Yeah. And he said he was wounded yeah. for our transgression. Uh-huh. And guess what? He was bruised yeah. for our iniquity. For our iniquity. Yeah. Brother, yeah. I need to say that's why. I said, I said, now nah, he look bad. They're going to beat him up. He's going to look like hamburger meat. He look real, real, real bad. And what I'm looking at is a sad story if you don't know the whole story. Yeah. And if you don't know the author of redemption story. It's the only way to save sinful humanity. Yeah. Come on. Yes, Lord. It's God's pleasure. It's God's pleasure. Watch this. Watch this. He says, the chastisement uh-huh. of whose peace? Yeah. Our uh-huh. peace. Yeah. Uh-huh. Was put upon him. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, our peace. Yeah. Don't worry, you get some peace. You got to give it to Jesus. Yeah. You got to take this sorrow, heartache, this appointed time, and give it to the master. Because the bottom line, he's taking us all the way. And there's no need suffering and being bitter all the way to the grave when you can get up and lighten your heavy load. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. You can lie. He did it for us. Yeah. It's for the believer. Yeah. I want you to understand this. this is what the Bible says. And that's why I give you book, chapter, and verse. And that's why he says, the just time that our peace was upon him. And guess what? And with his stripes. Mm. With his stripes. Praise his God. Stripes. And yep. every time yep. you yep. hear every stripes. time you punch. Come on, yep. Lord. Yep. Lord. Yep. Lord. Yep. Lord. Yep. Lord. Yep. Lord. When he took them whips. Yeah. Cat of nine tail. Uh-huh. When they struck him. And he did all these things according to Isaiah. With his stripes, we are healed. That's medicine. He's taking our sorrow. He's taking our pain. He took it for you and I. Yes. Don't you, I need to understand. He did it for us. Yes, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, thank you. Come on, now. that's what true love is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank now, why you. would somebody let his child come to Tennessee, Gregory, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world? Yeah. Yeah. He gave it's a holy his child. own now, who would give a son to die for us? The oldest son. Yeah. And to go through this. Yes. Yes. I think it's amazing. And it blows my mind when I, I looked at it. He's taking us away. And now that, but the bottom line is, he had to take Jesus away this way so you and I can have salvation story. Yes. Chosen one. He's chosen. Somebody He's elected. Oh, he, yes. what? he didn't go out like no red biscuit. He already knew before he came to the time this was going to happen. Come on, man. Come on, Listen to him. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, walk it with me now. Look what he said. And then he said, verse 6, guess what? Here's the good news is for the one that's act like you nickel bag potato chips and you don't do nothing wrong. But verse 6 said, all we like sheep have gone on the street. Yeah, uh huh. Ain't nobody been walking straight all their life. No. No. You might tell somebody that, but you're not lying according <laughs> to the scripture. All have gone straight. Yeah. And the uh-huh. only way to save humanity, he had to send somebody that has the power, has the authority, and all that, but has the love for you in spite of you. Yeah. He loves you more than you love you. That's That's it. It. Come on. That's it. Yeah. We have turned everyone to his own way. Every one of us want to be a Burger King. Yeah. Everybody want to do our own thing. We want to have our own way. Come 
Come on, the bottom line is that's why he said Proverbs 3, chapter verse 5 and 6. Trust in God. Come on. And lean not into thy own understanding. Come on. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. The problem is, brothers and sisters, if you're off the trail, cause you trying to lead. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Some folks gonna get mad. Well, rap, I'm telling you what a book is. 
Saying right now, guess what? He made his grave with the wicked mm -hmm. and with the rich in his death because he had done, guess what? No violence. Mm -hmm. Neither was any deceit found in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. He, was in, he was clean. Yes, sir. He was pure. I didn't know you crazy. He was a perfect lamb, a perfect sacrifice. The lamb. Because of sin. Now here's the key, don't tell nobody this. It makes people mad when I tell them what verse 10 said. Yet. Yeah, it did what? It pleased. Please, the Lord. The proof. I'm going to say that again. Isaiah 53 and 10. Yes, a heart pill. Yes. It pleased the Lord. Come on. To bruise him. Say that one more time. Yet. It pleased the Lord. Come on. To bruise him. And guess what he did? He can literally sing. He said, He had put him to grief. How would a parent still put your child to grief? Grief. Say that now. How do you feel to bruise your child? Lord. Open public. Love. That's what true love is. Yeah. Love. When thou shalt make his soul a offering. Yes. For sin. Thank you, brother. Something the only Thank thing you. that can save you and I yes. is Jesus being on that cross. Hey. Yeah. 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 It pleased God. Yeah, yeah. I'm charging with the Bible, sir. Uh huh. It said. It right said it pleased God. Yes. 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 And yes. guess what He gonna do? <laughs> when thou shalt make His soul uh -huh. an offering for sin, guess what? He shall see His seed. Uh -huh. He shall prolong His days, and the pleasures of Cynthia of the Lord shall prosper in His hands. I'm teaching your doctrine. I'm teaching what thus said the law. This ain't nothing to be slapping around, but everybody needs to understand God has taken us away and He's got a master plan way back in the Old Testament Come on, that man. He was going to take Jesus out yeah. to save us in yeah. 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Daddy, you want to know what's on God's mind? God said, I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to write it down. The problem is spiritual and illiteracy. Come on. We don't want to read. Don't yeah. That's why I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. That's why I give you the book, chapter, and verse. So when you see Jesus and you say, What did Reverend Mandy tell me? You give it book, chapter, and verse. Now, if you don't follow it, your blood ain't on my hand. Come on. Yeah. 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 It's right here. Verse 11 says, and he shall, and he sh shall see of the prevail of his soul. Uh -huh. mm. And guess what? Shall be satisfied. Wait a minute. <laughs> By his knowledge yes, sir. Mm -hmm. shall my righteous servant justify mm -hmm. many. Brother Sutherland, because of his suffering, because of his pain, uh -huh. it satisfies God. Yeah. Satisfied, no. To guess what? To justify us as great sinners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Wait a minute. Yes. Yes. Oh, Jesus, the Lamb. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ain't nobody so bad that he didn't go all the way. He could have got off that cross. He said, no, I ain't having none of that because I know Reverend Landry ain't nothing but a homemonger. He's an alcoholic. He oh, smoked oh, weed. He oh, smoked oh, up. He yeah, made hell. Yeah, yeah. Don't do all of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No.
eternity pay yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. in the war chest room of the triune. Yes, Before he said, in the beginning, this is the only way to the only take way. care of sin the only in creation. The only way. Look at that, the evidence. Come on. Yeah. Yes, you heard about SCI, I'm giving you an SCI yeah. report. Because we're going back and have to find what thus said the Lord. Said the Lord. Yeah. His word. Yeah. He said, therefore, will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the strong, because he has poured out his soul uh -huh. on the death. Yeah. We find out that's why he came <laughs> to pour out his soul Come on. Yes, and deal with death. I can hear Rose Lung on that this morning. Yes, yes. My yes. sin. Yes. 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 Come on, with your feet up. Come on now. Whether you're in Oak Hill, whether you're in YouTube, Worldwide Web, Facebook. The bottom line here is, he said now, his soul was going to be poured out unto death. Yeah. Unto death. Yeah. Some folks don't believe there's nothing to it. Yeah. All right, all right. There's something about the word. Oh, yes, it is. And he's going to be poured out unto death. Yes. Because he has poured out his soul and he was numbered. With the transgression. Here's somebody that was blameless. Come on, all right. But yet still they were going to number him <clears throat> with the transgression. Yeah. The wages of sin is death. Yeah. Yeah. But the gift of God. Yeah. Eternal life. Come on, Ray. Don't say that. And he bare the sins of many. Bro, so I need to understand. Hallelujah. Because what Jesus had to go through. Yes. That's why he was counted. He said he would bear the sins of many. And make, guess what? He's going to make intercession for the transgression. Hallelujah. Brother Jesus, can't nobody intercede yes, indeed. for you and I yes, indeed, Lord Lord Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Come on. Come on. Jesus, when he came, Lord, he came. Lord, no, he didn't. Yes, he came in as a prophet. Yes, yes. Yes. He didn't die. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. And he's up in glory. Yes, yes. Interceding as a priest. Uh -huh. He's coming back again. Yes. yes. And he's coming back as a conquering king. Yes, Lord. Now I got to get you back to Matthew. Now you can understand why it's so important to understand. He, God is taking us away. And when I got right here, he says in verse 2, and was transfigured before them. So I need you to understand what's already been prophesied. What's already said was going to happen. So the bottom line here is now he's saying he is form as shame. Before them, yeah, and his face did shine. Yes, come on, as the sun. As the sun. Mm -hmm. So here's something we need to look at: the skin is holding back the glory, but it came out, and his raiment was white Ooh, as the light. As the light, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. pure, mm -hmm. purity. Light. Watch this now. Don't tell nobody this here. Look at verse three. What it said. Y'all read verse three. Tell me what you say. And yeah. behold, yeah. there appeared yeah. unto them oh. Moses and yeah. Elias talking oh. with me. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's one thing to sit and watch Jesus just blow up and it looked like, you know, it's something we got with television and all the different animation we got going on. We can do some stuff like drill. But what about way back before they had all this technology and the real story was going down? All of a sudden, it's blowing their mind. I asked you all to go, how would you act? I heard some of you say, I take off running. I don't know if you can run when you see all this going on. <laughs> and we find right now your knees are knocking. Oh, yeah. And guess what? Not only is his face looking like this, Sister Cynthia, <laughs> Brother Casey, his clothes are turned in the light. Yeah. It's yeah. like, woo! Yes. I mean, I tell you what, I've been hiring a kite on 20 balls of string, but I ain't never oh, seen yeah. nothing like this before. <laughs> I'm so glad to judge, and when I read this, I say, this will blow your mind. And he says right here, not only did he did that, and then he said, and behold. And it's like, okay, and a matter of fact, oh, that's going on, but check this out, Sister Lynn. There appeared unto him Moses and Elijah talking to him. Hey, come on, come on man. Wait a minute now. Here, all this right, now, the reason why Moses and Elijah appear to Jesus at the transfiguration is that they represent the old covenant. The old yeah. covenant. That's right. That's Moses right. is the giver of the law. Uh -huh. Elijah is the greatest of the prophets. Talk. And guess what? They had to talk to him. Hey. Here's the key right now. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Because they 
they already in glory. Hey. Y'all know Elijah took a fiery chariot. Oh, man. Man. He was sitting there and all of a sudden God swooped him up. Oh, took him on up to glory. That's right. Right. Tell me Michael had to contend with the devil over Moses. Hey, so the bottom line here is they don't know where Moses is. Hey. They found Moses right here up in glory. We find that now because of the shining. Remember when Moses wanted to see what God was, he put him on the cliff and said, now you can't see my face. Yeah. But put my hand by you, all you do is see behind me. Yeah. So he couldn't see his glory. Hey. All of a sudden, like Paul was called to the third heaven. Yeah. All of a sudden, I got caught up to see some things yeah. that's unspeakable. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, even the priests, when they went into the holies of holies, yeah. when the Shekinah glory took over, they never explained what they saw. Come on now. So we see the glory of God two ways. We see God's glory shining. Now we see God's glory shining through Jesus. And now that, but we've got the old covenant and the new covenant together. How important it is for heaven to be concerned about what's happening on earth. Amen. We find they had a conversation with Jesus before he went to kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, then talk to him and say, I understand why he came. And he discussed what was going on and the importance of going to Calvary. Yeah. And I just showed you what he said. The prerequisite was he was going to be bruised for our iniquity. Amen. He was going to be Amen. chastised for our transgression. Mm -hmm. Boy, yeah. We find right now, Jesus, Moses, and Elijah was doing some tall talking. Tall talking. Right. We say it was a unique place right now. Hey, look at that. Woo! Hey, look at that. Come on, man. Be talking. You, you, you see it. You understand it. Yeah. Because we got 66 hey, books in this Bible. We got 1,189 chapters, 31,000 verses, 775,000 words, 3 million letters in this library of God's book. But the bottom line, the consummation, the old and the new got together yeah. on that mountaintop. Yeah. Yeah. And they discussed the issues of heaven, earth, and hell. And the plan. The master plan. There's a master plan going on. He was talking it out. Hey. He said, now nah, you understand what we're going through. Yeah, huh? Watch this, it's amazing now. Yes, it and behold, the three appeared unto Moses, and they was talking uh -huh. with him. Mm -hmm. With him. Uh -huh. Now give me verse 4. Then yeah. answered Peter yeah. and said yeah. unto Jesus, Lord, Lord it is good Lord, for us Lord, to be here. If thou wilt, will, let us make here, here three tabernacles. One for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Wait a minute, Peter say, I saw something. I did. Mm -hmm. Hey, they eyes on something. I saw it. No, now Moses gone. Yeah. Elijah's gone. Yeah. How did he know who it was? Yeah, I don't know who he was. How did he know? Look what he said now. And then Peter answered, because he done came up on this mountaintop. Good Lord. He done seen Jesus going through all this. Look what's happening right now. See, that's amazing, brother. So, so, that's why I show you book chapter first. Because if I told you, you wouldn't believe it no way. But since it's in your Bible, guess what? You're going to go back and see it again. Yeah. Sister Powell, Peter answered and said unto Jesus, Lord, it's good. It's good. For us to be here. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, today I want to let you know yes. it's good for you to be here today. Yeah. It's good for you to yeah. hear this for us to be here. It's good for you to understand that yes. God is taking us away, but yes. He's making preparations yes, for you and I. Because look here, we got two of them already gone. Yes, yes. Moses uh -huh. and Elijah. Yes, sir. Now, Jesus, it's your turn to get ready. Yeah. Ain't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, that's what I'm trying to warn you right yeah. now. I don't know if your house is in order. You don't know the day of the hour when God going to call you home. The bottom line is while the blood is running warm in your veins, make a choice if you're playing with this thing. Get serious. Because you don't know the day of the hour that you're going to walk out of time and step into the fabulous pits of all eternity. I'm going to understand this thing. It's real. What he says right now, Peter said, guess what? It's good for us to be here if thou will. Now, if you don't mind why you just talk. He said, guess what? Since we up here, ain't no need us leave in this place. Yeah. Oh, never been here before. Ain't never been here before. We're on the mountaintop. Right? Yeah, so it's it's kind of like Martin Luther King said, I've been yeah. to the mountaintop. Yeah, no. oh, yeah. See, I've been there. I'm not going to be there to get there yeah, with no. you. But I've been to the mountaintop. We find here's a mountaintop experience. Yes. And this morning, you're having a mountaintop experience because yeah, right. God has taken us away. Yeah. Yeah. One by one. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 
said, if it's all right with you, let us make here three tabernacles. Three. 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 One for thee. Mm -hmm. One for Moses. Yeah. One for Elijah. Yeah. He said, we finna put up some stuff so we can start praying yeah. up here. Yeah. There's some holy ground. Yeah. There's some stuff going on that ain't natural. Yeah. So the bottom line here is, brother and sister, when God decided to pull back nature yeah. and he revealed who he is yeah. to a cardinal mind, yeah. dealing with an infinite yeah. God who's got a master plan. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, that's why he said in Matthew 10, chapter verse 30, the very half your hands are all numbered. Yeah. Psalm 56 and verse 8, it says the tears that fall your eyes, he got them captured in the bottle and recorded them in the book. You ain't no junk. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. God knows everything about you. Thank you, Lord. This, is, Thank you. this is his master plan. Yeah. Well, let's see what verse 5 had to say. Burning gates of hell. That's why he wants you to follow him. He knows 
heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. So the bottom line here, his disciples did hear this. It wasn't no mumbling going on. They understood exactly what God is saying. That's why I'm putting in all of the words for you today that God is telling you, I'm pleasing Jesus. This is my son. You need to start hearing it. I need to understand how important it is. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face. Brothers and sisters, God's all about worship. Yes, he is. God expects you to worship him. Hallelujah. There's nothing greater than him. Great and the bottom line is when you come to terms of knowing who he is, you can't help but bow down. Amen. In the presence Amen. of your creator. Amen. I don't care how hungry, how hard you are, whatever it is, oh. you're going down. There ain't no way around it. And they fell on their face, and guess what? They were so afraid. Can you blame them? I don't know. I'm sitting there looking at your face. Oh, look at that brand new game. You can't believe what you read. I got you right there with them. You can't run. You can't do nothing but just what in the world. You can't help but bow down. Come on. Amen. Amen. There's nobody greater. No. You're in the presence of nobody greater because he is the creator. And Jesus felt sorry for him. Because that's why Jesus came and he feels sorry for us. Yes. Yes. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and what? Be not afraid. Brother, sister, Jesus is trying to touch somebody today to yes. tell you, Arise. Amen. Arise out of your loneliness. Yes. Arise out of the valley of despondency. Yes. Arise out of the dark area where you're at. Yes. Arise and want to give up on life. Yes. Arise out of the hurt. Yes. Arise yes. out of your disappointing time. Arise out of you feeling yes. neglected. Yes. Arise out of your hurt. Yes. Arise out of the bad news that it gave you. Arise above whatever. Because yes. Jesus is a healer. Yes. Jesus is a deliverer. Yes. And when Jesus say, Arise, and guess what? Be not afraid. Yes. Some of us are afraid. Be scared. Amen, amen, amen. Trust in God. You got to trust in God. Yes, it. Brother, we can't be afraid of death for the believer. Death is a friend. Amen, amen. I don't you can't see him like this. Yes. He's going to transform us. He yes. transforms our souls and yes. converts us. But one day he's going to convert and transform our body yes. and a body like his. Yes. Amen, amen. Be like you. He's going to be like Jesus. He's going to be like life. You were no fellow's soul. Woo. And give me verse 8 and 9. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. So we find right now God is taking us away. And look what happened. When he touched them, they fell down on their face. Yeah. They just got through seeing Moses. They got through seeing Elijah. They yeah. see Jesus had this triune conversation going on. Then they heard God and mix it up and say, this is my son. Yeah. They have seen all this. And yeah. guess what? They kept it up. They fell hey. down. You know, you can't hold. And then Jesus said, get up. Yeah. And don't be afraid. Ooh. And guess what happened? And when they open up their eyes, hey, I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know if they, 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 they pick a little bit. Yeah. They didn't open up the way they didn't want to put. They know what they saw a while ago. They didn't want to peek. You ever get that in the cover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, right. I don't know if I can see. I just want to. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know what yeah. I can see. What it was? I can't explain. I can't explain something. God that took us to a different place. Yeah. Mentally, spiritually, he had elevated you yeah. because he didn't show to the story. Yeah. Look what he said. And then they lifted up their eyes. Uh -huh. They saw how many? No man. Except Jesus. Yeah. Only. Yeah. Only. Yeah. Wait a minute. Where did they go? Yeah. Hey. Wow. Hey. Yeah. What, what happened now? Oh, that's a mind blind. Mind blind. I'm taking yeah. mind blind. That's why I need you to visualize the story. Yeah. And here's the key. And as they came down yeah. from the mountain, mm -hmm. Jesus, cool to the cool come. Yeah. Just lead on over there and drop them off something. He charged him, Brother Lee. All right, all right. Brother Casey, he told him this. He said this. Guess what? Yeah. He said, tell the vision. No, 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 man. How in the world? Who going to believe what I'm telling you? Y'all yeah. oh, yeah. ain't believe what I'm telling you. Right, and right. I read it to you in the book. Yeah. Well, how in the world? He said, tell what you see. 
to how many people? No man. No man. No man. Mm-hmm. Until mm-hmm. the Son of Man, what? Yeah. Be yeah. risen yeah. again yeah. from what? From the dead. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jesus said, don't tell this until after I rose from the dead. From the dead. God's taking us away. He said, God got to take me out of here. Feel the master plan. So that you need to understand, it is a self-fulfilled prophecy that Jesus had to die. And guess what? No cross, no crown. He can't get the glory until he goes through the suffering. He can't get the glory that he had before he came into time until he goes through suffering for you and I. He's got to suffer. He's got to go through some things. He told them in fairness they didn't want to hear, but now it is confirmed that he must go to Jerusalem. He had to go down the right road. And he had to go through judgment hall and judgment hall. He had to go through empowerment and denied him. The bottom line is, and they had to nail him to that old rugged cross. It wasn't an if, it was a must. He had to go through the same you and I. He could not be the Messiah. He could not be the Savior until he went through the suffering of the cross. That's why they nailed his hand. And he ripped his feet. And that's what Jesus said. Sing that wonderful 